happened. This sounds like a joke, but it's not. <laughs> there are no police in Hawaii. <laughs> there are no police. That's not me being uh, dramatic, that's me saying there are no police in Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome back! It's Thanksgiving today at Kalani, and Thanksgiving at Kalani is completely different than any Thanksgiving I have ever had having grown up in the Northeast. It was so nice to be down in the warmth of an island, but also to be with my ohana and really be so thankful for everything that we had while we were living in Hawaii. This episode starts off the night before Thanksgiving, where Kenny and Nick are preparing our huge Thanksgiving dinner. Then we flash forward to Thanksgiving Day, where a bunch of us get together and play a huge game of football outside of the dining lanai and then we get ready and head to Thanksgiving dinner. So it's the night before Thanksgiving dinner and we have our two little chefs here working hard to peel a million carrots. Hi Kenny. Hi. Hi Nick. Hey. <laughs> and then the next is potatoes. You're gonna have to peel this many Cambros of potatoes. Yeah. Alright well thank you guys so much I really appreciate it. Thank you. Love you. supposed to be at Kalani for Thanksgiving. My original dates were supposed to be October through November 3rd, and then I was supposed to come back to the Northeast and be home for the holidays. But about two weeks into October, I decided that I wanted to extend my stay an additional month, and in doing so, I was able to stay around for Thanksgiving, which again, I'm so grateful for. But being there for Thanksgiving was bittersweet because it was marking the almost end of my time at Kalani, and not only my time, but a lot of my friends' time as well. Now at this point, you've seen a lot of my friends leave Kalani. We said goodbye to Kim and Caitlin. And the next week that followed after Thanksgiving was us saying goodbye to a lot of really good friends, which unfortunately included Nick. Nick had worked hard, as you saw, to prepare our Thanksgiving meal. He worked until 10 o'clock the night before Thanksgiving to help prepare everything. And Thanksgiving dinner just so happened to be his very last shift in the kitchen at Kalani. So, there's a tradition in the Kalani kitchen. When it's your last shift, you get sprayed. Do it again! <laughs> I'll do it. Do it, Dana. <laughs> Longer, come Torture. on. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, is it your last shift? It is. This Aww, is how we celebrate what the last a good shift. One. I love you. I love you. Aww. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. You too. I'm gonna miss you too. It's too sad. It's way too sad. That's you've gotten three people now. And this time, I'm a pro. Thanksgiving Day was so much fun. I was able to call my family back up in the Northeast and speak with them on the phone and see how they were all doing around the Thanksgiving table. And I also got to spend it eating around my own table with my Ohana. To this day, I am still so grateful for that beautiful, beautiful holiday that we got to celebrate down together in paradise. 
Thank you all so much for checking out our Hawaiian Thanksgiving and make sure to tune in tomorrow because tomorrow we go on a huge adventure that you're not going to want to miss. See you then.